Hey guys, so today I want to do a Geekbench 3 benchmark speed performance comparison here between the iPhone 5 with the latest iOS 7 Golden Master Edition here, uh, which is the latest software from Apple, which they did ship out two or three days ago. And we do have Geekbench 3 here, which is a benchmark app that's available on both platforms over here. So uh, we have Android, of course, and uh, let's have some fun over here. So I'm just gonna fire up this little app. And we can see RAM here, one gigabyte. RAM here, uh, almost two gigabytes. Uh, quad core clocked 1.9 gigahertz, I guess you can say. And here, uh, dual core clocked 1.3 gigahertz. Android 4.2.2 versus iOS 7. Let's do a quick test here. And this shouldn't take too long. So of course, in case you didn't know, <laughs> Android usually needs a little bit more power to be running to run properly, while Apple is a little bit better at optimizing stuff, or I actually think a lot better in terms of lag and stuff. Because I can still see that when you're opening and closing apps sometimes on the S4, and that could be a little bit annoying because I mean it's quote core. It shouldn't be, but Android, it's an operating system that could be a lot laggy and could be very, very annoying. If you want, if you do like the smooth performance all the time, you just want to have that, see that a lot, then Android is not super good. Of course, Android has uh, other advantages. And then also there are phones that doesn't have that lag that pops up sometimes on Android or on uh, Samsung smartphones. So you can see our single core score, they almost get the same. Uh, but it's higher here, the Apple iPhone, uh, even though it's lower clocked, it's better, okay? So it's not about these numbers. And then we have the multi-core score here, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we have two more cores here, but the iPhone almost gets, I mean, the iPhone is close with only two cores, so pretty powerful machine in here. And of course, this laser GM edition, uh, of iOS, so of course that might affect the uh, the results a little bit, um, but I'm uh, kind of impressed here by Apple. They're, they're doing some really, really good uh, job here. And also remember that the iPhone 5 is from last year. Uh, the, uh, the new iPhone, the iPhone 5S, has some serious power inside, so it's definitely going to be fun to compare that one against the Galaxy S4 and all that crazy stuff uh, when I can, so quick video.